I should have even been in the Olympics. I was still just a high school graduate, and I thought the Olympics was too far out of my reach. Thank God for my brother, who coached me, told me what to do. Come here. Louis, a moment of pain is worth a lifetime of glory. You remember that? His story of reaching the Olympics is really quite extraordinary. He was the youngest distance runner to ever make the US Olympic team. And he had never competed at this distance at the 5,000 meters. Louis was a depression child, and he was a poor kid. He had eaten in a restaurant, I believe, once in his life before the Olympics. And he got on the USS Manhattan, which was taking the US Olympic team to Berlin. And they were feeding him anything they wanted all day long. And all Louis could think of doing was eating. All the great runners were out in front, and I couldn't keep up the pace, because I gained 14 pounds on the boat, eating all that free food. They were 50 yards ahead of me, but I thought, God, I'm way behind. The last lap came, and I remembered my brother telling me that one minute of pain was worth a lifetime of glory. So I took off, spent the whole last quarter, the entire stadium, everybody jumped to their feet. What I love so much about this story is that he just pushed himself so hard and he refused to fail. What made people stand up was to see somebody fight. It wasn't about winning, it was about seeing somebody try really hard and not give up. It's a great, great message. So I came in eighth, but the coach timed my last lap. My last quarter was 56 seconds, and they still talk about it. That's one thing you learn in sports that's good for you is you don't give up. You, know, you fight to the finish.